Hey, good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's John Phillips. It's Thursday morning, the 9th of February. Wow, February 9th. What happened on February 9th? I can't think of anything. February 7th was a big day. That's the day I got out of boot camp. Went to Waukegan, Illinois. Anyways, uh... I got to head out and do a job today. Guy just called me. He's, uh, he lives in a condo in a community that I, I did all the single family houses, but I didn't do any of these, uh, I think they're like 10 unit, two story condos, uh, maybe 12, but, um, he's on the second floor and I guess there's a leak in from his tub leaking into the unit below. They cut the ceiling open. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a water leak or uh, a drainage leak. Um, I asked him if they had just done any work, like tried to change trim or something on the shower, and he said no. And, uh, it's, you know, we'll see what, what's going on. Um, but some that's what I look for. Are they using the tub? Is it the overflow gasket that's leaking? Uh, so I've got a few questions I'm going to ask, but I'll, I'll look at it. And then he's also got, I think he said three faucets to install. Uh, so we'll, we'll go over there and check it out. See if we can't get it fixed up for him. Uh, I do have the stuff on my truck to put a new, uh, shower valve in. If I know that in that community, unless it's been changed, it should be a Delta 1300 series. Um, back in like 1998, 99 was when they, those units were built and that's what they were putting in U.S. homes. Uh, so maybe I can get it changed out if that's the problem. I'll put a mowing in there with a, a TL 182 or 83 or let him go to Home Depot and buy something. I don't really care. But there's a closet behind the valve. Um, so I'll be able to, uh, open up that wall if that's the case. Uh, but like I said, the, the, uh, ceiling's already opened up, so it should be pretty easy. Um, obviously if it's a steady drip, it's on the pot, on the, um, water supply side, not the drain. So I'll go over there. I want to show you some of this. I went yesterday out to lunch to a wonderful... <clears throat> Mediterranean or Middle Eastern food. I love this restaurant. I've been going there for years, 20 years. And the guy who runs it, he was just a young guy, but now he's got white hair. And uh, the special that I get there is a gyro. You know, it's a, a lamb and chicken. I don't know what the meat's made of, something like that. It's a combination of chicken and lamb and something else, maybe beef. But, um,. So when I first started getting those, they were seven ninety nine, and now they're like uh, twelve ninety nine for the same special. And I was laughing with the guy about that. He says, "I remember them days." But uh, two doors down from this restaurant is a uh, is a Navy recruiting office, and uh, so I went over there because <clears throat> I wanted to see if they had any bumper stickers or anything. So I walk up and, and they've got film all over the window so you can't see in. And there's a big uh, padded, you know, keypad lock on the door. The door's locked. And I knock on the door and a guy, he looked like a chief or maybe an officer. I don't know if officers actually do shore duty like that. I've never seen them, but I think they were chiefs. My eyes are bad. I really couldn't see what they were wearing on there collar i mean yeah on that collar but uh anyways i walk in and the guy's like can i help you and i was like yeah i want to uh enlist i want to sign up the guy's like well how old are you i was like i'm 58 he's like dude we can't use you man then i told him i was a a veteran a navy guy boiler technician toughest job in the navy one of them anyways it ain't fun being down there in the whole snipes snipes forever anyways he did give me some 
some bumper stickers which are, are really cool gave me a couple of these and he gave me this big thing that I, I guess goes on a clear window but it says it's an eagle it says Navy and it says America America's Navy yeah yeah America's Navy anyways I'm proud to be a veteran I'm proud to have served my country every morning first thing I do in the morning guys is put this on you know what this means God and country that's what that means God and country I do it every day that's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning so uh, anyways it was interesting I had fun bullshitting with those guys the one kid uh, I told him I said man when I was supposed to be an airman apprentice when I went in the Navy I was gonna work on airplanes you know be on a, a carrier and uh, somehow uh, my my orders got shifted and when I got my orders coming out of boot camp I'm like a boiler technician what the fuck is this and and I was going to New Jersey I was like are you fucking kidding me man the garbage state and uh, that's a joke I actually like New Jersey it's a beautiful place uh, but yeah I was stationed in New Jersey man and this guy he's telling me yeah my orders coming out of boot camp were fucking Hawaii I was like you son of a bitch I said I need to have you buy me some lottery tickets my man because uh, that's pretty lucky but uh, they were cool guys it was nice to, to, to rub elbows with some uh, Navy guys again and it's a different Navy now uh, the technology out there I just can't even imagine it was fun being out on a ship man just blasting across the Mediterranean listening to the waves the the waves breaking on the bow of the ship and looking at our wake behind us no you can't see land the water is as blue as you've ever seen cobalt blue uh, incredible man great great fond memories not so fond when I was actually there doing it but now as I get older it's like that fish story you know that fish keeps getting bigger and bigger but anyways I am a proud veteran go Navy let me head out there and see what I can get into on this job, man. You know, it's funny, guys. I went to, uh, speaking of the Navy, I went to a job yesterday just for a friend of mine and uh, replaced a couple aerators and tuned up her mowing pop-ups. But uh, she gave me this statue. Speaking of the Navy, look at this guy fucking kid's got a bear in his hand already that's fucking hilarious fucking bringing him up right yeah United States Navy y'all isn't that fucking hilarious how shit happens it's not a coincidence man I'm telling you this shit is amazing Hey guys, I gotta tell you, man, I've been tearing through my new fucking terry towels. Nice to have some new fucking rags. I haven't bought them in five years. Look at the shit I've been using, but I wash them. Anyways, wear off. Oh man, my tires are all fucked up. Look at the cupping on that tire, man. Something's going on here. That ain't good, man. That's a brand new tire, man. I'm gonna bring that fucker back, Jack. That thing's under warranty. Something's going on there. Probably my uneven weight distribution. is green 
on the golf course today. at this job uh, it's a friend of mine good plumber putting the pride back in plumbing that's a good motto my motto it's not on my truck but it's big enough to handle your needs small enough that you matter how you like that fixed your shower didn't we, this is where I put the new trim on, right? Right. And yes. now all of a sudden you got a stain on the ceiling. I thought he said you guys cut the ceiling open. It's the other bathroom. Oh, okay. There's a stain on the ceiling? It looked like it. <laughs> of course. Art? Yeah. Plumber's here. Oh, okay. How are you, my friend? Hey, John, how are you? Doing very well. Good, good, good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, you know oh, this is not good. They got a shower pan up there. Well, could be. I don't know. It's You can see it's dripping off the bottom of the pipe, the drain pipe there. Yeah. And, and also right around on the left side of the... Right up in there. Right along the left yeah, side he of the... He needs a new shower pan. Oh, boy. He needs to get cut all that tile out. Oh, she's... Unfortunately, yeah. you have a recessed shower here. Yeah. Uh, he, he's got a pan up in there. Yeah. Uh, so what I can do is... You know... I mean, I can plug the drain. See, you can see there's a drip coming right there. Can you yeah, see yeah, the pan's yeah. always full. Of water. Oh. I'm going to test the valve, make sure everything's tight. But, you know, I've seen this en enough to know that that's what's happening. Oh, you, he's okay. got a bad shower pan. Yeah. Well, so I'm going to go upstairs and take a look at what he's got. Yeah. He and just, uh, it just started yesterday. And, uh, yeah, it's dripping pretty yeah. good. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Let's let me go up mess. there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a mess for him, both of you, obviously. Yeah. Well, you know. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Good morning. Good morning. How are I, you doing? I stopped. I'm doing great. Hey, I'm recording. Uh huh. I have a, a YouTube channel, just so that you know. Oh, okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Show me what you got. I already stopped in. Down below. Down below, and okay. I'm pretty sure of what your issue is here. Okay not good okay not an easy fix i mean this is yeah so uh no. i'm gonna do a couple of things to confirm it mm -hmm. but my guess is you need a new shower pan okay so uh let me let me do a couple of things i'm gonna run this shower take this plate off make okay. sure there's nothing dripping from up above but it looks like a shower pan to me so okay all right. I got some replacements too on faucets and stuff. So okay, how many faucets do you have? I got this one, right? And then this one here for the shower, and then which that's a project. That's a project, and uh, the just the main sink here. Right. You got a faucet for that. Yeah. And then this shower. Same, same as the other one. Yeah, you realize that this valve body, you mm -hmm. want to, we'd have to open the wall up on the back side to put them in. Okay. So you can buy the correct trim so that you just have to replace the trim. Okay. And not the valve. Okay. That's, this is going to be the wrong, oh, this is all mowing too. So, uh, mowing, you have Delta here. Okay. Yeah, that's a Delta 1300 series. Okay. So what is that, polished? Uh, brush nickel or something? Yeah, just just yeah, brush nickel. So you you got to go online or call Delta, and they'll tell you the model. They sell it at Home Depot. Okay. And you can get the trim for that valve body. 
Okay. I'll, I'll work on that. I'll okay. get it, get you the number. Okay. But you're talking a lot of money. You're looking at six hundred bucks to put a new shower valve in. Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to do that. Right. Let's, Each let's valve. Trend, right. For sure. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take this trim off and then run the shower. All right, guys. So I've got this trim off. I can't see any water dripping. Uh, the drywall back here is dry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a half inch cap, plastic cap on this, and then pressurize the valve and make sure there's nothing leaking. Uh, if that test is satisfactory, meaning there's no leaks, uh, then I can, I can be pretty certain that it's this shower pan that needs to be replaced, so. But then I gotta, I've gotta put some new faucets in for this guy, three faucets, so it's not a wasted trip. Uh, yeah, he bought a new strainer, that's not gonna cut it. And he wanted me to change the trim out on these showers. But like I said, he's got Delta 1300 series. Uh, valve bodies so uh, from from the 90s uh, and he can get that trim through Home Depot they sell it you just got to pick up the right stuff all right guys so I've got this when you're testing a shower for leaks you need to not remove anything in the wall you know what I'm saying? You need to take the shower head off, put a plug on it, because I want to test that joint back there. All right, so my battery died. Anyway, so I've got this capped off. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. So the whole valve system's under pressure. And you can see it's dry dry in the wall so I'm confident that that is not the issue the valve next thing is this this uh, drain I'm gonna deal with that I'm gonna leave that under test for now for a few minutes <sighs> the pan somebody's already been in here one of the screws is missing it in there those little like pointy things coming out that's the pan and it's hot as a rock see these that's the pan material so I'm gonna stick a piece of pipe in here with some duct tape on it to back this drain up and uh Fill the fill the shower up, or at least get a get a little bit of water in this pan, the whole cover in the whole pan, and we'll see if it starts to drip downstairs. All right, guys. So what I do is I I just take a piece of uh, inch and a half pipe and I duct tape it until I can make a gasket that fits inside of here. Tap it down, and that's enough to back this uh, 
this drain up. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it and I'll put this shower back on and use the handheld shower to control the spray. Um and see if the pan's bad. I mean it's this is, these are pre-stressed slabs. Uh, the way these are constructed and they can be tricky, man. Uh, you know, before you tell somebody they got to tear apart their shower, you better make sure it's that's the problem. But uh, and the other thing that's concerning to me is that I don't I don't really see any water damage. Uh, on the tile outside of the shower so and the other thing is these guys they're up on the roof repairing damage from the um, from that hurricane we had you know they're, they're working around vents and tile uh, shingles that were ripped off so I'm just trying to really confirm that this is what needs to be done all right guys so you can see the water backing up this, this pipe is working fine. Trying to main, keep this water from splashing. You know, I'm just gonna let it fill. I need to get at least above that grout line in the corner around the edge. And uh, then I'll go downstairs and see what's happening. But I just wanna take my time and uh, make sure this is the problem, but it's your Everything's pointing towards a bad pan, especially when I can see inside this drain how hard and brittle that PVC has gotten. Uh, so we'll see. All right, let me get that fill up and I'll get back here. All right, so I'm going to run downstairs and look at this. Yeah, yeah. Cindy? Oh, there she is up there. Yeah, go ahead, John. All right, so I've got this pan under test up here. I'm going to see if it's dripping. I don't see any dripping yet, guys. See this water? Oh yeah, here it comes. So I'm gonna leave that thing under test for about 15 minutes, and I'll get my ladder and really get up in here. Let me go get my ladder. Yeah, it's leaking like a fucking sieve coming through here. See it dripping? like a bastard now he needs a new pan so I'm gonna stop this test usually you let it sit for 15 minutes but I don't need to it wasn't leaking before I filled it up I mean it was dripping every once in a while but now it's it's really dripping so I know it's a bad pan Bad news for him. I gotta gotta call a tile guy and see if he can do it. I'll have to put a new pan in there. At least it's not cast iron. It looks like it's your pan, my friend. It does? Okay. Well, I've got it full of water and it's really dripping now, so. Okay. You can see how deep this water is and uh, it's dripping like crazy so I'm just gonna pull the plug and the, the shower is draining fine so it's not a a bad joint or something it's definitely the pan I mean I'm confident that the pan is the issue
let that thing drain and uh, he's going to have to get that's a lot of water guys that drains draining really good yeah it's uh So what I did was I made sure it wasn't coming from up above. I made sure this valve uh, was good. And like I said, the, tel the, the real sign that it's the pan is because the dripping sped up. If the dripping stayed the same with all that water in this pan, then there could be a leak in the copper in the wall down low, but there would have been signs of that on the floor. So I'm, I'm confident. I mean that it's the pan so I'm gonna go ahead and put this shower back together I am concerned about this the fact that this was cracked uh, but there's no sign that the water was dripping on this and getting in the back wall uh, because the drywall is dry but he's gonna buy new trim anyways for these showers and uh, so we'll get that squared away. Hopefully you can go get them now while I'm here. But I've got to put uh, two faucet, two fa uh, three faucets in for this guy.